today. Thank you to uh, IPSA Foundation for Research or uh, Scientific Research. We had the opportunity to deal with uh, sexual health and sexual ecology. We decided to stratify the uh, meeting into three different parts. The first one was relating to the mind and indeed sexuality is in the mind. The second part was relating to the body. Sexuality is in the body and is your body. And the third one was even more than compelling, which means uh, is sexuality relating to the society. Uh, and we had the option to have two excellent uh, lectures dealing with uh, this uh, uh, last part. I would love to start with that one. Uh, we had uh, Alain Jaimi. Uh, he is a professor of research at the INSERM University in Paris, uh, Paris Heath. Uh, he's uh, very, very important in this field since uh, he developed his own career dealing with uh, sexual rights for both heterosexual, homosexual and transgenders. And uh, he uh, uh, I would say he outlined the importance of having sexuality and sexual health as a common right for human beings. The last talk was relating to uh, female mutilation. We had the option to have with us uh, dealing the talk, uh, Jasmine Aboulkadir. She is a OBGYN in Switzerland at the Geneva University. He had the, uh, she has a, a huge experience in the field of uh, female mutilation and uh, she described the importance of having uh, mutilized women according to the genital part of the coin in Europe, which is uh, still a nightmare, still a drama, and uh, uh, she was able to discuss the issue from the perspective of uh, sexual health on one side and overall uh, human being health on the other side. The first part of the uh, uh, meeting this morning was very important. We had uh, Jim Faust. Uh, she, uh, uh, Jim is a, a neurological researcher from the psych psychological standpoint, but he's a, a so-called neurobehavioral researcher uh, in the field of preclinical research, meaning uh, animal research. He was able to describe the importance of a model dealing with uh, behavioral issues in sexuality in order to explain how sexual health could be important and even more important, how sexual ecology should be explained from the uh, behavioral and the preclinical standpoint. Later on, we add Pedro Nobre, Pedro is a, a, a psychologist at the Oporto University in Portugal. is a, a very uh, famous uh, scientist in the field of psychology of uh, sexuality. Currently, the scientific committee chairman at the WOS, the World Alliance for Sexual Health and uh, Sexual Rights. Interestingly enough, uh, he described the importance of a model uh, which is able to explain differences between uh, men and women relating to sexuality and the the modality how to stress the point that subjective arousal, subjective sexuality as a whole is quite different from the genital part of the coin and how to explain why sexuality is so difficult and sexual, uh, uh, sexual functioning is so difficult to be studied according to uh, the models uh, currently available. The third speech uh, was relating to um, a completely different uh, issue. Uh, indeed, we had uh, um, uh, a part dealing with uh, the body. The body was describing the, uh, the, uh, the female part of the coin, Rosella Nappi. She is an associate professor of uh, gynecology at the uh, University of Pavia. She was able to describe that there is no the possibility to, to subdivide, to stratify, to, uh, to divide, I would say, in a dichotomic way, the body from the mind, at least in women, where the research, both the preclinical and the clinical research throughout the last, uh, I would say, 20 years at least, had a gap, which is a gender gap, first of all, but at the same time it is more than important to study the two issues from the multidisciplinary standpoint, at least using a model which is a dichotomic model, the perimenopausal and the menopausal transition. And she explained how hormones, the brain, uh, the hormonal milieu and the psychological uh, um, perspective in women are so important uh, at the same time. 
Uh, Professor Maggi uh, he is uh, the director of the Center for Andrology and Sexual Medicine and Reproductive Medicine at the University of Florence. Uh, he is a full professor of uh, endocrinology at the same university. Described the issue that being uh, impotent, which means uh, being uh, suffering from uh, erectile dysfunction, is a situation of uh, fortune and lucky situation, I would say, since uh, uh, there is no possibility for men going to the, uh, you know, to the uh, GP or the physician telling that they do need to be evaluated for overall health. Vice versa, men coming to the office and seeking medical help for ED, for instance, erectile dysfunction, do have the real lucky situation of being comprehensively evaluated. And uh, he outlined the point that men suffering from ED may be considered men with a, a sentinel marker for overall uh, uh, men's health in the next few years, starting from the point that, for instance, cardiovascular disorders could be considered as uh, subsequent to uh, ED uh, uh, as a whole. Lastly, we had the option to discuss the point of uh, sexuality among uh, patient survivors uh, after uh, a, a diagnosis of cancer. And uh, Professor Luca Incroci, who is a radiation oncologist at the uh, Erasmus University in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, was uh, very uh, elegantly able to describe the point that it is more than important to assess sexual health, sexuality, and sexual ecology in patients uh, who had a previous cancer. He described a lot the issue of prostate cancer patients. He described the issue of uh, women with uh, breast cancer and genitalia cancers, uh, telling us that unfortunately there is no modality to, uh, not to assess, but to treat them. And that's the reason why in most of the OBGYN clinics there is no sufficient feeling and sensibility to address this issue. Lastly, he addressed the point of patients suffering from testic uh, testicular cancer and finally uh, penile cancer and penis cancer as a whole, which is probably the model to be used not to treat and not to assess this kind of uh, issue, sexual health and sexual ecology. Thank you so much.